and at the same time, we, uh, we have heard from parents and loved ones who are saying they're still waiting for someone who might still be inside the mall. We do want to listen to an interview that we had earlier with someone who was inside the mall. Let's listen in. My concern for my uncle uh, was the main thing because I knew he got shot, but I didn't know anything about my cousin at all when I got here. Uh, literally the whole ride up here, I was just scared and nervous because I didn't know what that what was going on exactly. So literally I got out, then I spoke to my cousin, finally called back. He's like, I'm fine. My uh, uncle got shot. He's like, uncle got shot twice in the leg. Uh, he's like, other than that, he's like, he's fine. And seeing just, you know, this large, massive law enforcement presence and knowing your cousin's still inside and trying to be patient, just what are the other emotions that are kind of running through you at this moment? Uh, anger, to be honest, because it's kind of stupid why people would do this. Like, just run into a crowd of people and just start shooting for no reason. Doesn't make no sense to me. I'm concerned about my cousin, of course, but at the same time, I'm furious about this incident. It's like, why would you do that? Why would you put in people at lot risk. You got kids, toddlers, little babies that don't deserve this. And of course, that is someone who did uh, they rush to the scene because they knew someone who was inside an uncle, as he describes there, uh, that had been shot in the leg twice. Uh, we are still